What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the St. Louis Cardinals and Toronto Blue Jays Major League Baseball matchup going down Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. And while I do love giving out free picks, if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $15 best bet, check out PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Toronto Blue Jays. An interleague matchup from Bush Stadium to kick off the regular season. As you got the St. Louis Cardinals trotting out Miles Michaelis on the mound in this one, while the Toronto Blue Jays sending out Alec Manoa for this one. Now the Toronto Blue Jays finally made it back to the postseason. They went 92 and 70 last year, posting 90 plus win seasons for the first time in back to back years since the World Series teams in 92 and 93. But the Jays were quickly cast aside by Seattle in the wild card round. They were end, they ended their season with a sweep. Now, it was a fair bit of turnover for Toronto in the offseason. They lost the likes of Ross Stripling, Rymel Tapia, Bradley Zimmer, and Jackie Bradley Jr. to free agency. But the Jays were quick to reinforce the starting rotation. They brought in Chris Bassett. They added some veteran leadership with winning pedigree. They signed Brandon Belt and Kevin Kiermaier to one-year deals. Now, a lot of the same suspects return in the batting order for the Jays. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. primed to make a run at an MVP award. You know, Bo Bichette capable of leading the MLB in hits, as well as guys like Alejandro Kirk, George Springer, Matt Chapman. But for me, the more the biggest addition, uh, maybe Dalton Varsho from Arizona, brings a solid lefty into a lineup that was right-handed heavy last season. Now, the Jays' rotation, it did need help. You know, they, they brought in Bassett. But Alec Manoa, like I say, he's a stud, staff ace. You know, Kevin Gosman has that nasty splitter. And I think some positive regression could come here for Jose Barrios and Yusei Kikuchi, the latter of whom uh, really looked good in spring training. Toronto's bullpen also got better. They're anchored by a top 10 closer in Jordan Romano. This could be the Jays' best chance to sustain postseason run since the 90s, and I'm including the 2015-2016 the teams in there as well. Uh, the St. Louis Cardinals, on the other hand, they got back atop the mountain in the NL Central. They won the division after going 93 and 69. They were also quickly ousted in the in the uh, wild card round, though. They lost to the NL pennant winning Phillies. Now the the uh, the Cardinals they do bring back reigning MVP Paul Goldschmidt. He finished with 35 homers, 115 RBIs, 317 batting average last season, and the core pretty much intact from top to bottom. Nolan Arenado, Tommy Edmond, Tyler O'Neill all back. But with the uh, you know the arrival of Brendan Donovan, Lars Newtbar last season, and top prospect Jordan Walker coming, uh, it makes 2023 an even more interesting watch for the Cardinal faithful. Nolan Gorman also had a decent rookie season, had an impressive spring training, so we'll have to see if he's going to be a name to look out for as well. If there were a weakness for this Cardinals team, it's the starting pitching. Adam Wainwright, he's not getting any younger at 41. Miles Michaelis, solid mid-level arm, but in my opinion, he's, a, he's not a pitcher capable of leading a rotation and while Jordan Montgomery had a solid stint for the cards he really started to regress in spots last season Jack Flaherty Stephen Matz also had seasons to forget last year so it'll be interesting to see how this unit takes hold in 2023 now as far as this game goes though I do like Toronto here I think St. Louis is the more proven lineup from top to bottom but Toronto isn't far off from a talent perspective and I give the edge to the Blue Jays in starting pitching not a game I'm rushing to the window to bet here but I would lean towards the Blue Jays at the near coin flip price and that's going to be my free pick but just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash the like button. Hit that thumbs up. doesn't cost you a cent. helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.